Today we're going to talk about a pair of boots I picked up at Double RL. They are the new Plain View in brown hand tooled leather, and these beauties are fantastic. Just wait till we get a close up at all these details. I just couldn't pass it up <laughs> for many reasons. <laughs> well, so I actually have a friend who now works uh, at Double RL in um, New York City, so. It's good and bad for me. <laughs> it's good because I get a little bit of insight on what's coming and all of that, but it's bad for my wallet, of course. But um, the Double RL boots, Western boots, are made by Rio Mercedes. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of Rio Mercedes. So I know the fit. I should say there's no ins insert in a Double RL. So I have to go my usual is I go half a size because I wear them with the insert. But in this case, since there's no insert, then I go more of my true to size uh, in the Western style. So uh, Lucchese, Rio Sur Mercedes, and um, Ranch Road, I'm all in the same, the same size. But um, I'll give you a little close up so you can see some of the details on here and why, look at that, and why I could not pass that up. Look at how beautiful that leather looks. Just beautiful. No, so if you remember the review I did of this pair, this is, they call this leather the, I think they call it Red Mirage is what they called this. And so it's very similar to, um, I believe they probably just use the same leather on to make these. Obviously it's a bit darker on the hand tooled part for reasons, but I believe that this is the same, especially looking at that. Look at that. Oops, I don't want to cover my mic. Looking at the top of that vamp there, you can see it's pretty much the same colors going on there. But uh, I'm so excited to wear these. I'm so, so excited to wear these. So, um, Let's do a close-up on some of these details on the new Double RL Plain View in the hand-tooled leather. Side note really quickly, my Instagram was hacked, so if you are sending me messages or receiving messages from me, I'm not starting a clothing line. I don't have any time to start a clothing line. I barely have time to make these videos. So that is not me. I'm not reaching out to you. And if you're asking me questions about boots or jackets or whatever, unfortunately, I can't respond to you because I can't get into that account. I do have two other Instagrams. I, I had three in total. I do have two others, um, but the one that was public has been hacked. So don't communicate with that person. <laughs> and when I get it back, then I'll re be responding to you. So if you have questions, just do it on the YouTube. All right. Now back to the boots. Okay, so here's a close up of these beautiful plain view from Double RL. You can see this shaft is just absolutely stunning. Just stunning work on here. So you have hand tooled leather on the shaft, down to the heel, and then on the toe. Which these are just honestly dress Western boots. You can wear these with the suit nice wool trousers and a sport coat or they would look really cool with a pair of denim that work cuffed so you can actually see some of this hand tooled on the shaft i think if i ever get back into wearing some denim i will uh cuff them so you can see some of that uh, tooling on there because it's just really impressive the heel the heel is an inch and a half, which is really cool. Love that. And then the shaft itself is you're looking at 11 inches on the shaft. So it's a, it's a good height. And it does have a pretty deep scallop if you look. Here, I'll turn that. It does have a deep scallop on the shaft, deeper than some of the other Western boots I own. The toe on the boot, 
is called an almond toe, so it's much pointier than anything that I own. But I do like it. Especially because it's not square. You know I do not like square toes. I think the, uh, the toe itself is definitely works. So there's a veg tan outsole on here, which I'm gonna have to work on and get scuffed up because on, uh, when I put the boots on in store on the rug, it was extremely slippery. So as soon as I wear these out and just get like some nice scuff marks on that leather, they'll start to get some grip. But I think what I'll do is I'll wear them and then take them to a cobbler to get something placed on there. Just to, um, cause I know where it's cold right now in New York City and any kind of little bit of snow, any dusting of any of that's gonna be very slippery for me. So I think what I'm gonna do is just wear them, scuff them and then take them to a, a cobbler to get that um, covered up with some, maybe a little bit of rubber. And you can see some of that lemon wood pegging in there that Rios and Mercedes has done. So like the Rios that I own have that rubber inlay, if you remember some of the reviews I've done. So I know that um, I've seen a couple of Rios come out uh, with just the, uh, the leather outsole, which um, I'm not used to on Rios, but some of my other uh, Western boots I'm, I'm used to. And we'll take a look at that heel, the double R heel, which is, um, quite comfortable. The impact, so when I put these on in the store, the impact is quite nice on this heel. It, it is a bit better than what you normally get out of the Rio Mercedes shop. Usually the one that comes with your standard boots that you buy lasts, at least the way I walk, because I have that funky walk and my heel gets an angle. Usually if I wear them pretty regularly, I'm looking at maybe two months and then I'll need to get them redone. But um, this one here, for impact, I do like, and it is quite comfortable. And just another look at that beautiful redwood mirage leather. It's gonna age so nicely, like the others that I have. And just this beautiful hand tooled, just absolutely stunning. And I wanted to note they do make these in black as well. And the thing I like about the black version is that they have a brown uh, outsole on there, which is a really nice touch. I'm glad they did that. Um, I am, was kind of um, going back and forth of like, do I get the brown, do I like the black? I was really liking the black and then I just ended up going around because I do wear brown a lot more um, in my day to day then I do black and black is just kind of not as exciting it's a bit boring so that's why I went with the brown but knowing me I'll probably go back and get the black ones but the black ones are more expensive just FYI all right let's do the on feet I'm starting out the on feet with one of my favorite pants this season these are for mr. freedom I have two different pairs two different colors love the fit and I think that with this kind of like dress Western boot from Double RL, these Mr. Freedom pants just fit perfectly. And if you were to look closely at the fabric, you would see that that has like a, some brown that's mixed in with these white stripes that just complements it really, really well. So that's what I have on here. And kind of what I've been wearing, I, I wear the other pair of Mr. Freedoms a bit more than these, but I love the fit. Just perfect fit. And they look really, really good with boots. So that's what we're starting out with this kind of like dress Western with this hand tooled. And I'm in love, man. <laughs> Let's try something else on. Okay, so here is another pair of Mr. Freedom trousers. These, the color I thought were really cool. So I wanted to try that out with the hand tooled double RL boots. These are not jeans, typically, as you would imagine them to be. These are trousers with a buckle back, but they are made with uh, 
a very lightweight cotton. And this fit and color I do love as well. And I can't wait to look at the monitor to see up close how these actually look. But um, I was thinking if I did wear these with actual blue jeans to have like a cuff just so that you can kind of like show off the hand tool down there. But I find jeans to be very uncomfortable. <laughs> so I don't really want to put them on because they're just not comfortable. But uh, it would be cool just to have like show that off. I always feel that it is mandatory <laughs> that I put on the chocolate uh, chinos from Left Field NYC. <laughs> so this is what you see here. You have the chocolate chinos with this beautiful hand tool double RL boots. And can't go wrong. They cannot go wrong with that. Look at that. Just spectacular. Okay, so that is the double RL plain view in the brown hand tooled leather. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time with uh, another pair of boots, hats, leather jacket, something. See you guys next time. Be a boot.